What's up and welcome to the studio. In this video, I'm gonna work on something for this wall in the studio. Originally, when I built my studio, the idea was to have a wall that I could rotate paintings on and off of. The problem with that is if I'm packing for a show, this wall is emptied out, and if I'm working on a video, then I have to find a way to shoot around this wall. Also, if I have dark paintings on this wall, they sort of blend in and you guys don't see them, which kind of defeats the purpose. So in this video, I'm gonna work on three 24 by 36 inch canvases as a permanent installation on this wall. Here are the canvases I'm working with. They're gallery style canvas, so they're one and a half inch thick, and I'll be using fluorescent spray paint because that's gonna look really cool. I have a limited amount of daylight, so I need to get these painted really quickly, which means I'm gonna be doing a voiceover. I wanna paint these as abstract, almost neon camo backgrounds, so I just need to paint around in non-specific patterns just to make these color blobs. Even after it starts getting dark, you can see how vibrant these colors are, so I'm getting really excited about these being in the studio. One problem I have when spray painting is I don't have a good indoor area to spray paint, so I take all of my pieces outside, spray paint them, and I get too nervous to leave them outside to dry because I'm afraid something's gonna fall on it or they're gonna get wet. So I spray paint it, bring it back inside, and then I've gotta leave it in the studio to dry. But the fumes get really heavy in here, so I'm gonna leave this here for now, and then I'm gonna come back to it and we'll finish it up later. Okay, now the canvases are dry. I've already got these hung up because I really wanted to see how they look on the wall, and I am super happy with them because they're really bright, they're really vibrant, exactly what I was trying to do. But then I noticed that they're not exactly level or even, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But for right now, I can go ahead and get started painting and get these finished before I start trying to figure that problem out. Since the background is really bright and vibrant with this fluorescent paint, I want black drips coming from the top of this canvas. This is a really quick, simple project, so nothing can really go wrong. Okay, something just went wrong. I mixed all of my paint with water and while I was rinsing my brush, some water got stuck in the brush handle and I just splattered paint on my canvas. I don't wanna scrap this canvas though, so I just need to move on and keep painting. I found that whenever I make a mistake while painting, I keep moving forward and while painting, I start looking for different ways that I can incorporate my mistake into the painting. Sometimes a mistake can be devastating when working with quick drying paints, but I always try to find a solution if I can. For this piece, it was easy to figure out what to do. I'm gonna water my paint down and let it run at the bottom of each strip. Once the drips are done, I can add some reflection to each one just to give them some dimension. All right, this one canvas down and two to go. For this middle canvas, I actually wanna paint it in the opposite direction. I turned the canvas upside down so the paint would look like it's running up when it's hanging properly because I think that would look really cool. So, let's do it. Since I made a mistake on the first canvas, it changes the entire project. I'll need to do the same drip for each canvas. I don't wanna have just one and the other two don't have the drips. I want them all to match. I actually like how the drips are adding to these paintings. I feel like it gives each canvas a little character, so this turned out to be a happy accident.
With that last brush stroke, I'm ready to hang these canvas. But since they don't sit level or even with each other, I need to find another way to hang these. First, I need to take out the screws that I was hanging paintings on. Next, I'm mounting these 2x4s that I cut at 45 degree angles. And I put matching 2x4s on each canvas so they interlock with each other. So all I really need to do is make sure each one is level and then make them level with each other. And this is a final look at how they turned out. These turned out perfect and they're exactly what I wanted for the studio. So that means this video is finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe if you haven't. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. If you want to help support the studio and get some really cool stuff while you do, go to patreon.com slash pdshawn. Also, make sure to check out my website, pdshawn.com, where all my artwork's available and it ships anywhere in the U.S. for free. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time.